first of all good morning to everyone students today i am going to discuss switch okay actually what is switch switch is a multiple branch selection statement okay where you have the different cases okay each case has its own statement okay but case must be used with the break statement so that only one yes case can be triggered if out of those all cases okay not a single case is yes true in that case default statement gets executed student first of all you have to write the definition of fall through i will discuss fall through also write it the fall of control write down my dear write down the fall of control of the following cases the fall of control to the following cases the fall of control to the following cases of of matching case of matching case is called fall through now students there is one question and that question we have to do by the help of switch if anyone will give yes integer as 1 january will be printed if 2 february 3 march and if 12 december and if more than 12 given in that case it should so twice not valid okay this is my question first of all i will create a form suppose in the calculation the name of the form should be month name okay and then i will click finish now my form has come first of all you have to give your choice okay so here i will take the label box and then write enter your choice in this i will give a hint also 1 january 2 february suppose in short i am going to write okay to february now i am giving dot dot 12 december okay i have given a hint also okay that if anyone will press one or anyone will type one he will get the result january okay now how i am going to do it for doing this i must use the text field because there i have to give the value i have to make it blank clear now the next one that should give me the result so i will use here label box and give the text as your name of the month is okay again i will use my text field to get your result
clear now there should be a button using that yes it should be yes it should be yes giving me the value in the text field two box okay so i am going to have the button convert number to month okay this is the button i have used and one more button i will use yes to close the form that will be exit one okay now i have to write the coding my dear so double time i will click on yes that button okay and then i have to write the coding student first of all i have to take where my choice is going to be stored in 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 integer variable so i am here writing enter choice yes integer choice okay choice i have taken this choice will be stored in the j text field one box so i will write here integer dot parse int j text field one dot get text i think till there you are not having any problem now i will be going for my switch so i will use here switch now what will become switch choice so i will write here choice switch that will be my choice one okay now i will use the curly brace now i have to go for my case one if anyone will give the choice one what it will be printed january so i will go for case space one and then colon what it should be displayed yes january now student you can do by two ways either you take an identifier as a string and a story or directly also you can flash the result in the jtx field too but i don't want i want that it should be stored in a string variable so i am going to use a string m o n that is a month okay and then semicolon so if my case will be one then month will be what month means that month name okay january okay and then semicolon i must have to use break otherwise if i will ignore break case 2 also will be entertained okay so i must have to use the statement b r e a k b r e a k clear any problem now oh sorry i have used colon semicolon now i will go for my second case case 2 okay in case 2 my month name will become as february okay if here i will use also break now this way i have to continue my dear okay so i am going to copy this all so that it will save my time okay now i will use here case 3 <coughs> then it will be march okay then again i will use case that will be 
फोर इट विल बी अप्रिल सेम वे आई विल कंटिन्यू ओके फॉर माय फिफ्थ केस केस फिफ्थ दैट विल बिकम एज मे ओके now i will go for the other case that is 6 6 will be june so i will write here june now case 7 it will be july if 8 august case 9 september if 10 october sorry case 10 okay and then if case eleven november and if case 12 then it will be december okay and now after december there will be no case then if anyone has given 13 14 15 then what should be displayed choice not valid so where i will use this one in the default one okay so i will write here d e f a u l t default clear now what will be the default one choice not valid so here man equal to choice not valid choice not valid okay now we have already completed now but when i started the switch i use my brace you can see it so i must have to close it here okay now my first coding of first button has been completed now it's a time to work on the second one that is exit so i will double time click on exit and write here system dot exit zero okay S Y S T E M. Wait, wait, my dear. White shows underline. Now. Wait. i will go for design and then exit and there i will write system dot exit zero okay see students there should be no red wavy line if it will be there it shows that some error is there okay now you have to find out that error whether extra curly brace you have used or not okay now my work has already been completed 
Now once more I will go from the beginning to see whether my coding is correct or not. Okay. See, but I will explain also in between. See, why I have taken the choice, my dear? Because as per the choice, it will give the name of the month. Okay. So that's why I have made this choice as integer. Okay. Now, the next part is my month. Month, that means the name of the month, it will show. The name of the month should not be integer. It will be a string. So that's why I have taken the data type as a string here. Why I have used choice here? Because whatever the choice you will give in the first text box, that will get stored in the variable choice. Now, then I have taken the switch. Switch will be choice because here it will only have my numbers. That will be either one, two, three, or like this one till 12. And if anyone has given more than 12, that is 13, 14, 15, 16. So in that case, what will happen? Yes, I will be getting the answer. I will be getting the answer. You can see. Yes, twice not valid. Okay, let me check the spelling. Yes, twice not valid. Okay, now you have to know why I have used the cases. Case means what? If you use one, only case one will be triggered. That means January will be printed and after that it will come out from your place. If anyone will use to February. But students, one thing you must have to keep it in mind. If I will remove a break, what will happen? You know, my if I given one, January and February, both will be triggered, my dear. Both will be triggered. Okay. So in that case, we have to be very careful. Okay, we must have to use a break in between the cases. Okay, and if my choice is not, yes, from 1 to 12, then I will go for my default one. Default one. Default, that means if 13 given, then this one will be displayed. Now I am going to run this one. Okay, I am going to run this. So I will go to the run and then run file. Now, the form has come. Now I have to give the choice. Starting, I am giving 15, 1, 5. And now I am clicking on that. So here I must have to use. J text. Filled to dot set text and then what we have to store month name month and then the semicolon. Now see it. Now I'm going to use 15. Now what it is showing twice not valid. If I'm going to use one, then what will happen? January it is. If I am going to use 10, then it will be October. If I am going to use 7, then July. And when I will click on exit, it will close my form. Just you see. I am clicking on exit. What happened? My form has been closed. So I hope you have understood switch very nicely. Thank you, my dear.